Hello, this is a demonstration on how to work the batch auto run. First of all, you come down here to the batch auto run. Once you click on this, a panel will open up here on the top right hand corner, uh, which you can add files. You can do a batch auto run on and off, pause between sheets, clear all, delete sheet, move sheet, up and down, add sheet or save the batch. First of all, we're going to add uh, some files in here to our batch. It'll open up a dialog box and you can navigate to the files that you're looking for. You can alternatively select an individual file or by holding down the shift key select multiple files and hit the load button. At this point it'll load them in. You can choose where you'd like to start in your batch. You can also move these up and down. We're going to start with our program 2001.tap. We're going to first put click on batch auto run on and then we're going to hit the run button. And down here in the status you can see it says press cycle start to run program 2001.tap. We're going to hit that. Now I have my file set for 10 seconds in between sheets. So it's going to pause for 10 seconds and then start running it. You have an option to run now or to cancel it. Once our program starts running, it'll go through and it'll look for the M30 inside the code. Once it sees that M30, it's going to go and load the next file. It'll turn the previous file red, displaying that it has been ran. At this point, it's counting down another 10 seconds. And I can either cancel or run that. And then it runs the next file. At any point, you could hit the stop, which would stop the file, and then resume from that particular line. If you decide that an e-stop is active, so you're going to want to reset your e-stop come down and either choose to run from that current position or if you need to back it up. You can alternatively just hit the run and it'll know that you've had an e-stop and there was some kind of loss of arc or some soft limit hit. At this point you can also type in a different number or you can hit the OK. It'll process the file and move the machine back into position to where it needs to be. You can choose to resume the file with the torch on or off and then it'll continue running the file. If you try to turn off your batch run while you're running it, it'll tell you that you need to stop the file first. You can then stop the file, turn off batch run, which will then close your current file that's loaded, choose to start somewhere else. We're going to choose to start here, and I'm going to do the pause between sheets and hit the run. It'll do my countdown of 10 seconds, which I have set, uh, up in my admin section which I'll show you in a moment. And once it gets through the file, it'll then wait for you to issue a cycle start button press. It'll also say in the status bar that you'll need to hit the cycle start. So as soon as this gets through the file here. Okay, now it's ready to run the next file. It hasn't loaded it yet and down here in our status bar it says press cycle start to run program 2002. I then hit the run it waits 10 seconds to run that file, but if I choose I can just hit run now. And I'll go here and show you exactly where you can set that timer. Go to the service screen. We have our pierce delay, that's different. But if we go into the admin section, we can have our queue delay, which is it set for 10 seconds. This can alternatively just be set to zero and then there won't be any wait time at all. Thank you very much.